NASA, Bahamas, violent waves and lashing wind and rain began tearing apart docks and flooding roads in the northern Bahamas on Sunday as potentially catastrophic Hurricane Dorian unleashed an assault that is expected to devastate parts of this island nation. With sustained winds as high as 257 km per hour, Dorian strengthened to Category 5, the highest intensity level, ahead of its strike on Abaco and Grand Bahama Islands. Moving westward, its eye wall on a collision course with towns and cities in the narrow northern isles, the storm was slouching forward at a painfully slow 13 km per hour. The speed could reduce further, and northern Bahamas hunkered down for nearly two days of dangerous hurricane conditions. Read more, asterisk, extremely dangerous, Hurricane Dorian barrels toward southeast U.S. asterisk, U.S. braces for Hurricane Dorian, now a Category 4 storm, asterisk, Hurricane Dorian hits Jeffrey Epstein's notorious pedophile island, right now, you have those rain bands coming in, off and on, said Leslie McIntosh, a 50-year-old employee at the Bahamas's Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources in Fox Town on Abaco Island. The wind has picked up, and that tells me now that everything is headed downhill, which means it's getting closer to Abaco, Bob Self, a plor and Maine blows her show far from the Jacksonville Beach Pier in Florida. In low-lying Marsh Harbor, the largest town in Abaco, witnesses observed the start of Dorian-related storm surges, with sea sprays increasing. Even before the eyewall crashed upon shore, waves ripped apart docks, they said. Seawater topped seawalls, flooding roads. In some parts of the island, residents reported electricity outages as early as 1.30 a.m. as the island began to feel tropical storm force winds. Overnight, more than 50 residents of Grand K, Abaco, were trapped on the island for more than seven hours as they attempted to leave the area, which has under voluntary evacuation orders. They were finally evacuated by boat around 5.30 a.m. A vessel departed at 5.30 a.m. from Grand Cay with 58 persons on board en route to Grand Bahama, said Captain Stephen Russell, director of the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA. They were waiting, from Saturday night, until this morning at 5.30 a.m. There may be a few more, but that's the most the boat can take now under the circumstances, and that may very well be the last trip there, after a Dorian churning over the Atlantic Ocean. Maxine Duncan, administrator for Central Abaco, said that more than 500 people lived on Kays off Central Abaco and that most had remained despite evacuation orders. I would say at least 90% of the persons stayed on the Kays, she said. They did not avail themselves of the transportation that was provided for them to be evacuated from those Kays. Audrey Thompson Dines, 41, an event coordinator, lives in Murphytown, Abaco, which is in the center of the island. She said her water supply, which is provided by the government, was disconnected shortly after 10 p.m. Gusts of wind are picking up, but I can hear the hallowing through the trees, she said. Gerald Herbert, Aprofia Farouk stands on the beach as storm cloud moves ashore in Vero Beach, Florida. Let's block ads. Why? 